This video is by Straight Goods News, sgnews.ca. Required to list what their contents are so that actually people can track what it is that's going on. If I remember correctly from the Sodium Working Group, that they were talking about voluntary reductions and that they were going to monitor them. Is that what your bill calls for? Well, there or do you want to make it mandatory? There are guidelines, and the way that we sort of bring forward the issue of it being mandatory is to say that if they're not meeting the guidelines uh, by the certain uh, timelines that are put out there, that then they are required to uh, include significant labeling that I think most companies would not want to do. I mean, my bill says that basically the labeling, making it clear that they're not meeting the guidelines um, and that they're contributing to cardiovascular diseases and so on, would have to be 50% the size of the lettering of the product. So that would be fairly significant labeling. And so we're hoping uh, very much that these uh, benchmarks and guidelines that have been established will be met. Um, but it's really the package overall in terms of um, bringing forward a plan, making sure that, for example, children are not being subject to um, uh, advertising that is very harmful to them in terms of the foods they're eating as it relates to sodium. So it's a very comprehensive bill. The, the government, after the Sodium Working Group came out, uh, it, its response, uh, some of the members of that group felt that the, the government was, was really listening too much to industry. Um, is your bill a sort of a, a reaction to that? My bill is a reaction to the complete inaction of this government. I mean, this was a this was a public health issue where the provinces were on board, the, the territories were on board, the sodium working group that did have industry representatives on it had made a very clear strategy and put it you know put it forward to the government. The government then completely dropped the ball and disbanded the group. So uh, so I think you know this bill is very critical of the fact that the government has not done their job. They've dropped the ball on this very important public health issue. Um, so I, I do feel that um, it's absolutely imperative for the health of Canadians, both individually but collectively for our healthcare system, that we move ahead on this issue. And I would say even further um, that later, when the provinces and the territories urged the minister to get on board and go ahead, even then she refused to act. And finally, how significant a public health issue are uh, high sodium levels in our diet? It's a very significant public health issue. There have been uh, expert estimates that, uh, especially if we base it on some of the U.S. figures, that anywhere from 10 to 16,000 deaths every year in Canada could be prevented if we had um, adequate sodium reduction. So it's, that's very significant. I mean, that's not counting the number of people who will encounter significant health problems, cardiovascular problems, as a result of very high salt intake. Do you know how much it costs the health care system? 